Hey, GED students, once again, I just kind of want you to speak my language here and understand what these exponents, these little floating numbers in math mean. Or I should say another way to think of them, really. So it's a new operation for us to take a number, like 1, and raise it to a power, put an exponent on it. That's an operation. So let's go ahead and just read it first. It says simplify one to the sixth power. Now you might be thinking, hey Kate, I thought simplify had something to do with fractions. This is a common misconception that students have. Um, yes, we do simplify fractions and there's lots of ways we simplify fractions, but the first one you guys learn is um, reducing to lowest terms. And so a lot of you guys think that the word simplify simply means that reduced to lowest terms. But simplify is a really big word. It includes a lots, lots of things. And as simply as I can put it, it basically means perform the operation. So you can see here, what does this say? It says take one and raise it to the sixth power. So if I'm being obedient with this simplify, I'm going to do as much of that I can as I can do. And I can do that. I can take one and raise it to the sixth power. So Let's go ahead and do that. So my first recommendation to you is if you're going to do the math with exponents, especially if you're a new student, you don't just go straight from the exponential to what you guys think of as the answer, the simplified expression, the, you know, I don't know, final number. Don't go straight there because you guys make mistakes. Students who do that tell me the answer is six. And I say, you're a liar. <laughs> one to the sixth power is not six. If you remember what one to the sixth power means as a multiplication expression. So that's what I'm going to have you do first. I'm going to have you write it in the expanded, also known as the factored form. All I'm saying by that, factor means multiply, okay, you guys? So I'm just asking you to write this out as an equivalent equal multiplication expression. Another way to express 1 to the 6th power is to say that the number 1 is multiplying by itself 6 times. It's not multiplying by 6. It's multiplying by itself 6 times. So what we're going to see here is 6 1s multiplying. 1, 2, three, four, five, six. And of course, a really interesting thing happens when you multiply one times one. It really doesn't matter how many times you multiply one times one. One, one is just one. And uh, over here, this one times one is just one. And I'm going to drop my time sign from above. And same thing here, one times one is one. Now you write this out in expanded form enough times, yes, you're going to remember that one times one is one. And no matter how many times I multiply one times one, I get one. So yeah, sure, if you write it out enough times, you're going to remember that, you know, it doesn't matter how many ones I multiply. I'm just going to get one. But those students who go, oh, this is easy. I'm going to skip a step. Why does Kate make me do all this work? She's such a freaking jerk. Uh, she's just trying to waste my time. No, I'm not. I'm trying to rescue you from being the student who says, oh, this means one times six. The answer is six. Yeah, that's not true. All right, so then let's go look at this second example. Ooh, I covered it up. <laughs> there it is. All right, so the next one I'm doing is 5 to the third power. And you might say, hey, Kate, it doesn't say simplify. This time it says evaluate. Oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? I can't remember what evaluate means. All right, same difference. Simplify, evaluate. Just trying to get you to figure out what this simplifies to, what I'll get if I do the math, basically. So let's do that. Again, please do not try to go straight to the answer. You'll be the student who tells me 5 to the third power is 15, and then I'll just cry and cry and cry and be like, guys, please trust me. Okay, so what does 5 to the third power mean? Let's write it out in expanded form, which is a form we're really used to multiplication, right? So we don't make any errors. So 5 to the third power means the same as 5 times 5 times 5. And I'll go ahead and multiply the first 5 times 5. That's 25. And I need to do 25 times 5 now. Now a lot of you guys are going to come over here and do that inside work, and I'm totally cool with that. Uh, but I would say to you that you don't have to. 
Like, honestly, I promise even you don't have to, because whether you know it or not, maybe not in every country, but at least if you grew up in the U.S., if you know it or not, you've got your 25 times tables memorized. No joke, you really do, because of counting by quarters. I've not met many students in the United States who can't count out their quarters and tell me how much money they have. So if you have that skill, you have your 25s memorized. Think about having quarters that are worth 25 cents each. 25, 50, 75, a dollar, which is the same as 100 cents. I should be writing this down. 25, 50, 75, a dollar, which is the same as 100 cents. And then it just repeats, right? A dollar, 25, or 125 cents. That's one, two, three, four, five, fives. So the final evaluated or simplified answer here is 125. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.